Hello students. In this video, we will learn how to add integers on the number line. A favorite topic and this we are going to learn with the help of a number line. And our friend Mr. Panda is there to help us to learn how to add integers on the number line. So a very small that rule that we are going to follow is, first of all, let me introduce you the number line. In the number line, we have 0 at the center. Then we have all the positive numbers on the right side of the number uh, 0 and all the negative numbers on the left side of 0. So we have taken number from minus 8 to plus 8. Fine. Now when we are learning any concept, we should always focus on, we should always try to take very small values and it becomes easier for us to understand the concept. So that is why we have taken only smaller values till plus 8 and minus 8 because that is enough sufficient for us to understand the concept. Now the two rules that we have to follow are, so Mr. Panda is standing there with the rules. The two rules that we have to follow are that to add a positive integer, we move towards the right on the number line. To add a negative integer, we move towards the left. See, the arrows are pointing here. We have the arrows here. So arrow itself shows the direction that if we are adding a positive integer, we are moving towards right. If we are adding a negative integer, we are moving towards the left. So this will help us to perform the addition on the number line. Now, the first category that we are going to deal with is we are going to add only positive numbers. Let's see what is the addition, what is the sum when we add only two positive numbers. So the first question is 2 plus 3. Now, 2 plus 3, we take the first number as the starting position. So Mr. Panda is standing at the starting position, is already at position 2, already at position 2. Now we have to add 3. So add 3 means we'll be moving towards right. So 1, 2 and 3. So what is the final position of Panda? That's plus 5. That means if we add 2 and 3, we get the answer 5. Okay? Next. So the answer for this one is... 5. Next we have 1 plus 5. So to perform 1 plus 5, we place the panda at plus 1. So that's the starting point. Now we are adding 5. That's a positive number. So to add a positive integer, we'll make 5 jumps to the right side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And where is the panda right now? At 6. Position plus 6. So that means what do we get when we add 1 and 5? 1 plus 5 gives us the answer 6. Now if you notice something, if you notice something, when we add two positive numbers, at that time we are only moving on the right side. Okay? When we add two positive integers, we only move towards the right of the zero on the number line. So there's no relation with the negative side. That means when we add two positive numbers, the result, the sum will always be a positive number. Fine. Next, let us take the example of two negative numbers. So the first example is minus 5 plus minus 2. That's minus 5 plus minus 2. So we take the starting position of panda as minus 5 and it says minus 2. So we are adding a positive negative integer. To add a negative integer we will move towards the left. Minus 2. So that means 2 jumps towards the left. And what is the final position? Minus 7. So that means what is the final answer? When we add minus 5 and minus 2 the answer is minus 7. 7 which is a negative number. Now the second example is minus 1 plus minus 3. The second example is minus 1 plus minus 3. So for that what do we do? For that we place panda at minus 1 and we had to add minus 3. So since we are supposed to add minus 3 how many jumps towards the left? Since it is negative number we will turn to the left. How many jumps? 3. So 1 2, 3 and what is the answer? Minus 4. So minus 1 plus minus 3. 1, 2, 3 
gives the answer minus 4. Now if you notice that whenever we are adding two negative numbers at that time Mr. Panda was only on the left side of 0. He was only moving on the left side of 0. There was no relation with the positive numbers. So whenever we are adding two negative numbers the answer will always be a negative number because we are only moving on the left side of, of 0 on the number line. And the last case is adding a positive and a negative number. So what happens when we add a positive and a negative number? See the numbers that we are going to add. I will just explain you this concept. We will look at the position of the numbers on the number line first. So we have 7 and minus 3. Where is plus 7? Plus 7 is here. Okay. That is plus 7. So panda is at a very good distance from 0. Yes. That is plus 7. If you look at the distance from 0, it is 7 units. Fine. It is 7 units. Now the second number that was to be added is minus 3. So this is minus 3. Now if you compare the distance of panda from 0, it is lesser. Yes. This means that we have compared the absolute values of the two numbers. 7 and minus 3. Okay, we are talking about the distance of the two numbers from the number from 0 on the number line. So, minus 3, the absolute value is 3, plus 7, the absolute value is 7. Okay, so now, why did we learn this? Because now the final answer will depend upon the distance, which number had, uh, where was, like we had plus 7 and minus 3. So, the absolute value of 7 was greater. That means the final answer will be positive. And we will just now observe this with the activity here. So 7 plus minus 3 means that the panda is already standing at 7. Now minus 3 is added. That means it shifts towards left. 1, 2, 3. So where is it right now? At position plus 4. At position plus 4. Okay. So 7 plus minus 3 gives you plus 4. I repeat it once again. We go to the starting point straight away. 7. Minus 3 is to be added. So we turn towards left. 1, 2, 3. So the final answer is plus 4. Okay. So did you realize that since 7 was having the greater absolute value than minus 3. The answer was a, the final answer is a positive answer. It is plus 4. Okay. Now again what we will do is the next example is minus 5 plus 2. The next example says minus 5 plus 2. Again we will look at the absolute values of these numbers. So if you observe this is plus 2 at a distance of 2 units from 0 on the number line and this is minus 5. Minus 5 is at a distance of 5 units from 0 on the number line. So that means which number has the greater absolute value? Absolutely it is minus 5. We are not looking at the values of the numbers but we are looking at the absolute values of these numbers. Here is plus 2 and here we have minus 5. So if we compare their distance from 0 this is less and this is larger. So minus 5 is at a higher distance from 0 on the number line than plus 2. So the absolute value of minus 5 is more. That means the final answer will be negative not positive. Now it is minus 5 plus 2. So we bring the panda to the starting position, minus 5, we are adding plus 2. So we turn towards right, 1, 2. And what is the final answer? Minus 3. Okay, so did you observe that since the absolute value of minus 5 was greater than the absolute value of 2, we compared the absolute value of the two numbers that we were adding and the final result was on the side of the bigger absolute value. So, the final answer was negative in this case. Okay, I repeat the movement once again. The question was minus 5 plus 2. So, we bring the panda to the starting point, minus 5 plus 2. So, we turn towards right, 1, 2. And what is the final answer? Minus 3. Okay, then there is one more case. After that, there is one more case that if we have to add 0, then what does it mean? So if panda is at position 1 and if we have to add 0, it will simply jump on the same position and stand there itself. Okay. 
if the panda is at minus 4 we are adding 0 so we are neither moving right nor moving towards the left we are at the same point at the same position at minus 4 itself okay so the things the main uh, outcomes learning outcomes of this video are that the sum of two positive integers is always positive the sum of two negative integers is always negative some when whenever we add one positive and one negative number it depends upon the bigger absolute value the answer the final sum takes the sign from the bigger absolute value so when we added minus 5 and plus 2 the answer was negative in that case when we add, added 7 and minus 3 the answer was positive in that case and yes whenever we are moving on the number line to add a positive integer move towards right to add a negative integer move towards left so with this the panda says goodbye and happy learning